good morning. Had all day yesterday, I had a work project and then more came in today. So I've just been working on that. Editing all the good stuff, all the good entertainment that everybody could ever ask for. I need to sit down and record my agoraphobia video because my Wednesday one, sh my Wednesday one shot has gone up and I'm curious to see how it does and how these sit down videos do in general. So the next one that I want to do is going to be the agoraphobia one because I find that to be the most interesting topic to talk about. I'm excited actually to sit and film it, but I want to like doll myself up a little bit for that one just because I don't want to look like this <laughs> and so I'm gonna go work out and then I'm going to I'll do it tomorrow tomorrow I plan to film that uh, I need to f sh like kind of back up and compile some content for all of my social medias. I feel like that's the best thing to do is just have a day where I make multiple things because I run out of like my back stock to post on shorts, but I'm so happy with how shorts have been working out. So shorts have been doing really good at siphoning views to my main channel now that they've added the feature where you can tag a video in the short. So whatever the short is about, that information that's inside of a bigger video can be looped into it. And, and so people like that short or what they saw, they can go watch the full video. I love that. I love that idea. So the shorts are becoming almost like mini trailers. I don't mind working a lot when it comes to something I love. So if I have to spend my free time and my spare time, filming just as much content as I can to post for shorts to pull people in and so be it. So I'm gonna really, I'm gonna just give it my all this year and um, we'll see how it goes. I'm not gonna say anything else after that like I'll stop or anything but maybe I'll just really slow it down if after the end of the year I don't really feel like it's done anything. I'm really hoping that that all works out. Look at this nasty weather. It's just raining sideways just like Forrest Gump said. Rain that flew in sideways. Sometimes it comes straight up from underneath. We will take advantage of the home gym. Turn on some heat. And work the frick out. out my ring I love it when I do that but this is what happens when you're looking for a very specific pair of pants to go to the golf course with your husband and then this stuff over here it just needs hung up it shouldn't take me long to do then I'm going to consider maybe at least seeing how easy the wallpaper is to get peeled off of these walls because I do want to start the wallpaper yeah I think the reason why I've just put off doing the wallpaper uh, project of taking this down is because I just still am like, I'm like, do I hate it? Do I really hate it enough to take all of it down? Do I want to leave like an accent wall? Is it that bad? But it is. I think it's so ugly. I don't know what I was thinking. I was really going for it with that Marie Antoinette thing. And now I'm like, I could not have picked a more hideous wallpaper. I bet some of you were like, what? is she doing with that wallpaper? You guys are so nice though, you would never say that. And plus you would just be like, well, that's what she likes, you know? And you just gotta let people live their lives. Even if you have an opinion that might be differing, you know, that's kind of, I'm surprised you picked that bitch. <laughs> like, I don't think anybody would see this is the problem I was worried about. It's like a whole situation. This is gonna be a son of a bitch. This is another reason why I've not wanted to come in here and do this. Alas, it must be done. All right, well, I'm gonna start cleaning up this at least and feel accomplished. <laughs> ball is underneath the pillow. I'm watching him trying to get it is probably one of the most entertaining things I've ever seen. <laughs> he got it. Good job, Marvin. Good job. You're so smart. 
good boy. <laughs> He's a good boy. Yes, he is. He loves his green ball so much. Mm -hmm. Look at the difference of this makeup. I did half makeup face. The other is completely empty, except for obviously my Lilac Street lashes that are still hanging on strong from, it's been over 10 days. But yeah, I was not intending on doing a heavy eye like this at all. And then I was going to do a really beautiful liner. I actually had it perfect. It was this nice little soft wing on the end. And then I sneezed and stamped this huge black mark right across the top. And I was like, dude, I am not about to go get makeup remover and do this all over again. The interesting thing too is that I don't have foundation on, so I am just wearing a little bit of my tinted moisturizer concoction. And I just wanted to see if I could do my makeup with like a tinted moisturizer and a little bit of concealer and still do an eye that's kind of more glam. I think I've succeeded. I think it's an interesting juxtaposition of natural skin with a like more intense eye look and that excites me. <laughs> I actually have it half done because I'm going to film this for my content on social media for Instagram and TikTok and maybe if I could fit all of it into a short then we're gonna yeah move on. I have been playing a little bit with just different looks and I love this. I love having a very freckled face with this kind of raccoon eye. It's not even a cat eye. It's not a fox eye. It looks like raccoons. And I like it. It's fun. I love it. I need photos. I need tons of photos with it. So I did a grunge eye, but then I put tons of this glitter over the entire wing. I think that looks so cool. And then in the crease, I ended up going with my go-to, which is the Soft Glam Palette. I have this orangey color. I also have the orange soda. So I have the orange soda on the top and then the deeper burnt orange right above the line. And then I obviously use this black all over the entire lid and then the NYX glitter over top. And it's actually really easy to do. The main thing is just getting your shape right. And I just used a Morphe pencil M321. I use this because it has a nice little point to it. And so I can just go in, you know, and work out that shape and then clean it up with a brush. Get a little concealer on the brush and just clean it up. And I was really going for a lift in the corner too. So I really pulled it up high in the corner. I'm going to get dressed and then we're going to just quickly talk about what we're doing up here in this room. And then we're going to go thrifting. I'm going to have to probably go to a couple of places. So we have a lot of errands to do. We have a lot to do today, but I'm going to get ready and I'll see you in a moment. I'm so excited. Thrifting day is my favorite. <laughs> but as you can see, every time I need something, I pull these out and I pull everything out and it's just such a mess. All of my nail kit stuff is in this corner. All of my backup palettes are in this corner. This is my office supply section and craft section and sewing section and it's just madness. If I can find like a dresser that has multiple drawers, I need like four to five drawers and I should measure the height of that. So I guess as long as I get a dresser that's a decent shape and also I got to consider can I get it up here because there's this huge thing in the middle. I think I can do it and get a dresser to go up here, nothing too heavy, but works for storage. So all of this can go away and all of my makeup has a place. That will be great. Keeping this chair in this, but I think I'm gonna move it. Um, I consider painting the desk, but I really like the look of natural woods and I do wanna kind of keep the theme up here, neutral, natural boho. So here are the images that I've Pinterested. I have one that has a desk that looks almost exactly like mine and I love the look of this room and the light and the plants. So maybe I need to get a few more plants. I just find that they don't do too well up here because it's not really temperature regulated. And then I like the look of the stone. I could do stone. No, I'm not doing a stone wall. I'm not. So as you can see, the running theme is this just like natural wood table with a natural wood chair. Lots of plants and greenery around it. I do have for this other one, I like this idea for the other side of the house. So this room has a green couch, which I already have. This big gold mirror, which I love. And maybe just kind of focus that room into looking cohesive with this one. I love the look of this girl sitting at the desk with her little furry, like 
throw thing so I would like to do some sort of white th like throw over it I already have some pampas grass so I'm going to bring that in here even though sometimes pampas grass when I open the windows up here just blows all over the place so that is my plan for up here I have all my lighting on if you're wondering why it looks like this here's the outfit I'm wearing a few things I've thrifted recently and the pants are actually from Amazon with some Adidas slip-ons. I wish these were a little whiter. It's kind of actually throwing my eyes off. Change into some sneakers that are a little bit whiter. These just got stained from gardening, honestly. It's like green grass stain on them. That's a bummer. I'm gonna have to get a new pair because I do love these so much. Um, yeah, let's go. Everything is blue. Why is everything blue? It's because the skies are gray. And all the leaves are brown. <laughs> so stupid. I swear to God. Why am I on YouTube? I'm so stupid. Um, my teeth, have you ever sucked your teeth and your skin gets stuck in your teeth gaps? That just happened. I really hope nobody's in that car next to me. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a smoothie. I need to eat, I need something in my system. I ordered the beet smoothie. I know it sounds gross, but it's really, really good. So we're gonna go get a beet smoothie and then we're gonna try to find Habitat for Humanity after that and see if there's anything good there. But that um, St. Vincent de Paul is really marked up and this is usually my go-to place for cheap stuff. I don't know why it's so expensive. It's sad, I hope it's not a new thing they're doing, but I felt like stuff was really overpriced. All right, we've got our beet smoothie. It's so good. It's called the red velvet, so it tastes like red velvet cake. It's like chocolatey almost, and there's beets hidden in it. So, you know, healthy, but tastes like dessert. This definitely tastes like chocolate dirt, <laughs> but it's good. I like beets and I like the taste of dirt, I guess. I'm seeing a lot of storage outside already, but it's more like file cabinets. So here's where we are the local habitat for humanity and we're gonna give it a shot. Okay, I actually did decide to stop at the Habitat for Humanity just because they tend to have a lot of like random storage here and I thought, why not try? We're gonna give it a try. Because this I think will be good for the corner that I was talking about where I have extra space, but I still need to figure out what to do with all of my shoes because I think I'm actually gonna swap storage. I'm gonna move some things around. So I'm looking for curtains and I'm looking for maybe storage. We'll see. There it is. That is what I got. Now I'm also contemplating if making that the storage piece would make more sense putting it here, but I really need a dresser. I really need something with multiple drawers and it matches the trim. I did grab two of those uh, hanging shelves that looked really boho-y, kind of cool. I think I got video of those. So I got two little hanging shelves to put plants on maybe. This I couldn't pass up. <laughs> But I, I 
bent the freaking lampshade and broke it, I, I had to slam on the brakes because somebody walked across the street and it sent my seat flying into this thing and it busted the lamp. So I'm hoping I can revive it and if not, I'll hopefully find another one. But it's a freaking cowboy boot. I couldn't not get it. I know that this is probably for a kid's room and we're trying to get away from that. But it's a cowboy boot. Uh, and then this. I thought it matched the furniture in here so well that I can use this maybe for displaying some of my vintage pieces. I think that's a really nice idea. It's so cute. It's snowing. It's not gonna stick, but it's still fun to look at. Okay, now it's really dumping, like big time. <gasps> look. Okay, the flakes just keep getting bigger and bigger. It's amazing. Gosh, I wish it would stick, except for I don't have groceries, so best that it doesn't. It is so early. I woke up at 5 a.m. and I did what I almost did yesterday, where I was like, just get up. It's 5 o'clock, just get up. Um, I'm about to actually film my agoraphobia video right now. I just wanted to say hi and update you guys on the day. This is the whole thing with trying to like get ahead of myself so that I can make sure I have a video coming twice a week, having the agoraphobia video ready to go for next Wednesday's Wednesday one shot. And that's what I'm gonna call it. I don't know where I got that from. I hope I didn't get it from something weird. Wednesday one shot. I don't know what that is until otherwise posted. We'll keep it going with that. So without further ado, I'm going to film that now and I'll see you guys when I'm done. I hope this goes well. These little sit down videos do have a little bit more of a like pressure because for me it's hard to stay focused on the topic. Okay, I'll be back. That's definitely not my tagline. The grueling process of getting this peel and stick wallpaper off the walls has begun. I was going to try steaming it, but it doesn't seem to work as good as this does by itself but look how it just comes off like tiny pieces I hate this so much I hate this so much I got the corner but there's still <laughs> all of this oh this is gonna suck and everywhere it's pulling I feel like I'm just gonna have to sand and then just paint over it so now I definitely have decided to buy some paint. I was originally thinking it would just keep the walls white, but how fun is that? That's not fun. So I'm really thinking about a tan, like almost like a deep sandy tan color. It's the next day and it's the weekend and we're actually gonna head to a new area to explore, which is my personal favorite thing to do on the weekends. We love to load the dogs up into the car and find a coffee shop somewhere. So there is this lake here called Lake Taps and my husband was telling me about it and I'm always on the hunt for swimming locations that are specifically lakes. And I think I'm just comfortable with lakes because I grew up next to one and I was in it all summer long like you couldn't get me out of the water i was on the water ski team i loved it i loved swimming so i want to go explore it to see if it's potentially going to be where i can go swimming this summer and it's of course freezing right now the lake is man-made apparently it has glacier water in it right now they have it drained to uh compensate for the season and then they fill it back up in the warmer seasons. So I'm cur I'm just curious to see what it looks like right now, but when you look it up on Google, it shows people swimming and on floats and in boats and just like, it looks really lively during the summer. And then I also found this place out there, it's called Craft 19 and it's a crepery. It's a place where you can go get crepes of various flavors and they do them right there in front of you, like with the little spoolie spinner. <laughs> and um, they have coffee too, so it's still pretty, well, it's 10 o'clock. We wanted to go earlier, but I've been up here doing my lashes. So if you wanna see the Lilac Street application of these lashes, I put the video up on my social media and uh, just go check them out because it's literally just how I do my lashes. I already have a dedicated video to that, so you're welcome to go check that out too. And that's just like kind of a more long-winded explanation of the lash application. I have a code below. Anytime I mention Lilac Street, I always talk about the 
code and the link that I have to it so feel free to use my link try it out and then they have reward programs too which is pretty amazing the lashes are only like under 10 bucks or are they 10 now they were seven for the longest time I feel like they've changed the price regardless that's really affordable for lashes it's even cheaper than your normal strip lash and they last forever those last ones I had on for 12 days so that's pretty good for 10 bucks <laughs> so I love them they're my favorite I think the French lace are officially my favorite ones because as soon as I put these on I was like that's it right there that is perfect and now I don't have to worry about doing my lashes for the rest of the week it's amazing I hate putting on mascara it's my least favorite thing I hate it so much I don't mind putting it on my lower but I cannot stand because I always want really big lashes so it takes me forever and it gets messy and my lashes are short so I'd much rather just not have to do it and these look great so we're gonna go for a dog walk and a crepery hunt and coffee and it's gonna be so fun I am heading to this place craft 19 crepery and coffee house to get some food to go cute Look, you, sir, sir. <laughs> that looks so good. I got the Nutella one with fruit. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh. Look at them all over the road. Holy crap. Wow! <gasps> I had no idea this was out here. Cool, huh? Look at it, it's a big lake. Yeah. I wasn't, I didn't think it was gonna be this big. I don't think we can pick a oh. more horrible time. But I wanna eat my grape. Oh. So I'm gonna eat it while we wait for this to pass. Cause it's gonna pass. And then it's hopefully gonna clear up and be kinda nice. And if not, then. We're gonna be having a very short walk. <laughs> but this, this this place was so cute. Marvin's freaking out because we're parked and he knows. <laughs> but look how good this looks. Oh, I can't wait to dive into this. We got some sunshine. We're pretty lucky because <laughs> that was potentially a disaster. I'm at the depot, the Home Depot, that is. And I'm picking up my order for my uh, paint. I ordered some paint, I sat there and compared colors online. I just felt like for me, I can see it in a room, I can see it in that room and really picture it. And then I also had my husband without like guiding him at all. I just showed him all the paint chips they have online. And I said, pick out a rosy tan. And he pointed to this one that was exactly what I was thinking. So I was like, it's meant to be. So I've got, instead of going with tan tan, which I thought was just, I don't want like brown. I'm not looking for like just a brown color because I think that's not me. I don't want it to look too dull. I thought a rosy tan would complement my skin tone, like my, almost like my glasses actually almost a little bit more tan than my glasses and i ordered for delivery i have tomorrow two things coming i have new hardware to go on the cabinets and some gold spray paint to paint the current ones on the vanity so i just bought extra bulk hardware to just mix and match where i want it all to go but i do also want to keep the original almost filigree looking hardware. I love the look of that old antique hardware, but I just think it would look better gold so that everything matches. Ooh, maybe I'll spray paint the cowboy boot gold so everything's gold. 
<laughs> maybe maybe i'll do that would actually be really cool and then i was thinking of recovering the lampshade since it got beat to hell on the car ride home <laughs> So maybe if I put some fabric around it or some like upholstery fabric fabric around it But I think I'll do that last because I would really like Ooh, here comes a person Hello Hello, this is Yes Thank you So I don't know how much of this project I'm gonna get done But I'm gonna do a test spot on the wall so at least you guys will be able to see it I'll obviously have to pick up the project next week because I doubt I'll be able to get all of it done today But you never know I guess we'll see how long it takes me to get that hideous wallpaper off the wall. I regret doing so much so bad. I, I was almost considering an accent wall and then I was like, no, it'll be cool with the whole thing. And I'm like, <laughs> look what I found. It's like a whole can. So I just canceled my order. And then here's the paint, if you can see that. So it's like a tan pink. Does that look like a tan pink? It's a little lighter than I expected, so I really hope it's the right one. It's called Kangaroo Paw. Mm, it's pretty pink. What about that? It's tan. It doesn't look tan at all. Why? But is that too pink? I can't tell. I hate the paint color. I hate it. I'm not doing it again. When I put this wallpaper up, I kind of liked it. And I remember thinking, do I like it that much though? To do all the walls. And I didn't listen to my gut instinct. So I'm gonna go get the right paint. I'm not doing this to myself where I'm gonna hate it again. <laughs> so we're gonna go get the right kind. I have to leave, go do it again. This one seems promising. It is more on the peachy side, but I think I prefer that to be more of like a sandy peach as opposed to a rose because rose is just gonna be too pink for me and I really wanna get away from pink. Cinnamon ice. And it's this one on the top. So I wanted like a light tan. You, when you see it next to other colors, you can totally see it. So I'm gonna put a coat on the wall and see what I think. All right, so. <laughs> Here's the new paint color next to the pink. It definitely looks more like a peach. So I think I'm gonna like it. And I want it to be something that I knew would complement like my skin tone, cause this is where I sit to do my makeup. <sighs> I'm gonna paint it that. I hope I like it when I see it on all of the walls. Well, I hate to do this to you, but I think I'm gonna have to end it here because I didn't account for exactly how long it would take for me to get this wallpaper down. And now I really want that paint to dry so that I can really decide if I want that color or not. I just don't wanna paint all the walls a color that I don't love. Don't forget that the agoraphobia full sit down discussion video is going up on Wednesday. So keep an eye out for that one. I've pre-edited that as well already. So it's pretty much almost good to go. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe if you're not already. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.